Hey, I'm back with part three of my CPC exam tips for 2020. There's gonna be some great ones today, things that you're definitely gonna to wanna to know to pass that CPC exam, so let's get to it. If you're new to my channel, I'm Victoria from Contempo Coding, an AAPC approved education provider. I am a medical coder, auditor, educator, national speaker, blogger, podcaster, YouTuber, and content creator for medical coding. And on my channel, I provide helpful tips, tricks, and tutorials to help you succeed in a medical coding career. This video is part three in a series, so make sure you go back to my channel and check out all the information in part one and two, and then part four is going to cover test taking strategies. Now, the cardiovascular system is arguably the hardest section of CPT, and it's probably the most difficult for me, but in order to pass that CPC exam, there are a couple of key things you can concentrate on that will help you answer those important cardiovascular questions. In non-selective catheterizations, the catheter is placed directly into the blood vessel without any additional manipulation. It doesn't advance into any further branches of that vascular family, so the catheter is only placed into the vessel, such as the thoracic or abdominal aorta. In selective catheterization, it's going further past that vessel into those branches of the vascular family, and that's usually performed under fluoroscopic guidance, and it involves higher risk and it involves more skill. And when it comes to coding those catheterizations, you're going to want to get familiar with Appendix L in your CPT book because that is where they list all of the vascular families. Appendix L has the assignment of branches to first, second, and third order in the table, and it makes the assumption that the starting point is catheterization of the aorta. So this categorization would not be accurate, for instance, if a femoral or carotid artery were catheterized directly in an antegrade direction. Arteries highlighted in bold are those more commonly reported during arteriographic procedures. Now let's take a look at this example. The cardiologist advances a six French catheter in the left renal artery via a right common femoral puncture. It is selectively catheterized and angiographic films are taken. The catheter was then removed and a diagnostic guiding type RDC catheter was used and the left renal artery was selectively engaged. A 0.014 supercore wire was used and the lesion was crossed. A 6.0 times 18 millimeter balloon expandable racer stent was introduced. This was expanded around eight atmospheres of pressure, which is nominal. Angiography revealed excellent results with no residual stenosis. What CPT codes are reported? So according to Appendix L of our CPT book, the left renal artery is part of our first order vessels. To locate the selective catheterization, we would look in the CPT index for artery, abdomen, catheterization, which gives us code range 36245 through 36248. Angiography of the left renal vessel was performed. However, there is no mention in the report that this was there, there was any results of the angiography. So it's not a diagnostic angiography. It was just an angiography that was done for mapping to check if they have like stenosis. So that's already included. The stent was deployed, which is code 37236 in the left renal artery. So remember, we have to put on our anatomical modifier. So this is left, so LT modifier. This code also includes the radiological supervision and interpretation. In the CPT index, look for stent, placement, transcatheter, and trivascular, which directs the coder to code ranges 37215 through 37218 or 37236 through 37239. So our stent is the 37236. And then follow up renal angiography is bundled with the stent procedure. Now let's talk about surgical pathology. There are times when the same body specimen is covered in more than one level of surgical pathology. For example, the vas deferens is in both 88302 and in 88304. 88302 is reported when the vas deferens specimen was taken for sterilization. And 8304 is reported when the vas deferens specimen is taken for any reason other than sterilization. So you have to pay attention to not just the body part, but those additional details like that they might have about that. Also be aware when a panel is included in another panel. 
In this example, the comprehensive metabolic panel is included in the general health panel. To report 80050, all tests in the comprehensive metabolic panel and in the general health panel have to be performed. 80053 would not be reported in addition to 80050. And also pay attention to those parenthetical notations that are in the organ or disease oriented panels. Now, immunizations are a big one that people miss too on the CPC exam. When you're coding for an immunization, always remember that you're gonna need two codes, one for that toxoid and one for the administration of it. So one for like the, the solution itself and then another for actually doing the injection. And as far as those administration codes, make sure you're checking what was the type, what was the route, what was the age of the patient, was counseling performed, as well as was this a per injection or was this a per component? I actually have a whole separate video on immunization, so you'll definitely wanna check that out because there's a good chance it'll come up on the CPC exam. Click that link above and make sure that you watch that video and I'll link it below as well. So that's it for CPC exam tips for this week. Now next week we're going over those test taking strategies, how to budget your time, how to use process of elimination, how to know which questions to answer first. So that's one you're not gonna wanna miss. Again, make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will get an alert when all of these episodes are posted. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And again, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps support me and the channel. And if you want to even support further, I do have merchandise and I will link that below as well. I will see you in the next video. And until then, just keep on coding on.